So here's a quick video to show you how to manage your listings. So first thing that I want to do is log into my bot.ai page. So here's my uh, fake landlord account, Sue Susie. Um, and this is a page that helps you manage your listings. So if I wanted to go to visit this page, um, I can update any information about myself. I can edit photos. I can you know, choose what types of properties I manage. And then also take a look at um, what hours I'm around as well and change all of these different photos. Um, I can also enter any description about my property, um, phone number that I want people to contact me at, um, email address and uh, property address. Um, I can add specific properties. So if I manage multiple types of properties or like apartment complexes, I can include those here. I can also manage specific unit types. So this could be one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, um, as well as units. So what I could do is also show you how to list a unit. So I can um, go to my main dashboard here. Um, first thing that I wanna do is click on list my unit. And then from here, I can select an existing floor plan. So if I already had one that I wanted to choose, I can, um, put that in there and I can also put in my rent amount. So I can put in 1500 here, two bedroom. If I allow pets, I can enter the pet deposit amount. So that would be sort of like a security deposit for the pets. Or if the pets have to pay rent, um, you could put in you know, $50 per month or something like that as well. If there are any breed restrictions, you can also enter that breed restriction here. Um, and if there's a weight restriction, you can enter that here as well. Um, for this example, I'm just going to close out of that and say that I don't accept any pets. Um, if you need references, you can do the same thing. Um, and if you need a credit score or a FICO score, um, you can include that as well. Um, and then here, I'll just choose that I'm an owner. Um, and this will be the interurban house. I'll put in the apartment complex um, and I can put in one A here. So once I put in this information about the unit, I'll then continue to the utilities and appliances. And then here I can choose my structure type. So my structure type here will be an apartment, um, condo or townhouse. So this structure types should match the um, structure types for the utility allowances of the public housing authority that um, you want to list your unit with. Um, so here I can say that, you know, heating is natural gas, cooking is electric. These will be paid by the tenant. Um, if anything is paid for by the owner, you would click on it here. So let's say um, water, sewer, and trash was paid for by the owner. You wanna make sure that paid by is selected carefully. Um, same with the appliances. So um, here the credit is applied to whomever is um, providing the refrigerator in the unit. So if the owner is providing the refrigerator and the microwave or the range, um, which is also known as like the stove, um, you can select owner here. If the tenant has to provide this on their own, you can give the credit to the tenant. Right. Um, so here I can upload images or uh, click to to download, so I can put this one here, this one here. Do that. So here, once I have my images selected, I can put submit. So here, it's gonna check for leads on the floor plans and the units. Um, once those leads are there, um, you'll be able to message them if you are a person who is um, a verified landlord, you'll be able to message them. And here I can search for rentals here as well. And click search. So this is the one I just listed. Okay, so once I'm in this unit, um, I can click edit here. Now I could, um, include more photos. 
I can also mark it as available or not available. So let's say um, this unit is you know already leased up. I can just mark it as available here and save it. And then now if I go back to, uh, I'll get this tag since it's not available. Um, and I Now it's no longer listed here. So if I could then go back and edit this again, save it, mark it as available. Now it's available again. I go back into rentals. Search for this and now it becomes available. So uh, I hope that really helps with um, how you're you know, listing your units. Um, again, you can go back into here, manage your listings uh, within this page. Um, and you can also you know, look at your listings from here and go to your page, scroll to your available units. Um, this is an elder land, so let me see if I can go to the one that I just loaded. You'll be able to see um, the one that I just added. And then here you can edit it from here and then you could um, add a description. Um, you can add your contact information. And then here for the amenities, um, once you fill this out, if you choose this from your um, floor plans when you create the rafta for the unit, you will be able to have all of this filled out for you already. So um, you won't need to fill this out again if uh, you need to. Um, and yeah. go ahead and fill in this out. All right, so once that's saved, um, if I were to go in, I can see this information here. Now, if I wanna go back to my dashboard, that takes me back to this Bob.ai page. You can go here to manage your listings on your page. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.